Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So as quite a few of you may have noticed, I haven't posted a video for quite some days now, which is not what I normally do. And that is because I was moving from Pai, Thailand to Koh Phang Yang, Thailand, which is a tropical island in Thailand. And in my personal opinion, it's one of the best islands that you can visit in Thailand. I recommend anyone that wants to come to an amazing hot country, where the culture is amazing, the people are amazing, and it's really calm and relaxing with lots of nature and really good food. I'd highly recommend that you definitely come and check out this place at some point in your life. And yeah, I wanted to explain to you as to why I have moved from Apai, Thailand, which I moved to in late December. And yeah, I arrived here around three days ago. And prior to come here around three days ago, we actually went to Chiang Mai, Thailand, me and my lovely girlfriend, Nock, which I talked about in various videos before. And we actually made a video not that long ago talking about how she stays super lean all year round without dieting or having to do any sort of intense exercise. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link for it up above. So if you're interested that you go and check it out. And yeah, we went from Pai Thailand to Chiang Mai, Thailand, and we went there, I think, for around six days, and we wanted to get some tattoos done. And this is my new one here, it's still healing. And this one, she got one on her arm. We also both got one on our fingers. And she got one on her legs. And we will talk about our new tattoos soon in a video coming up once these tattoos are fully healed because they're still in the healing process. And we had a really good time there. Then we went to Bangkok, Thailand for about a day and a half. And we wanted to go there for a while to have some really nice food and do some other things there as well. We wanted to break up our trip as much as possible because I find traveling is quite intense on my body. My body does not like it whatsoever, especially flying in planes. It just is something that doesn't make me feel good for many different reasons that I don't need to go into. And yeah. By doing all these little trips, it's breaking up as much as possible. And it was nice to go to a variety of different places because it's nice to go and explore and do different things and get out of your normal routines, which is really, really good. And then, yeah, we've been here for about the last three or four days and we're still getting everything together here. We haven't actually got a house yet, so we're moving from hotel to hotel to hotel. <laughs> so yeah, everything's up in the air a bit at the moment, but that's just the way it is and it's all good. But we should have a place tomorrow. And when we do get a new place, I'll show you what it's like if you're interested in that. You'll see that in a video soon. And yeah, the simple reason as to why we moved from Pai Thailand to here is you have the burning season, which normally goes on from late January to about late April. So January, February, March, April for around four months. And if you don't know what the burning season is, the burning season is a time of the year in Thailand where so many crops are being burnt every single day in abundance. And from what I'm aware of, it's normally soy crops and corn crops. And most of the soy and corn is fed to cattle and livestock and all these other animals that are basically owned by the meat industry so it's the animal agriculture industry and they are then being killed and fed to people that eat their meat so this is one of the reasons why i eat a vegan lifestyle because people don't realize the major devastating and damaging effects eating meat has on our environment and the rainforest and so much nature around the world and a negative effect on our air quality so when they're doing this, the air quality gets really, really bad. There's thick smoke everywhere. You look up in the sky and you can see it all in the mountains and everywhere. It is not good whatsoever. And if you check the API, which is the air quality index, it is really, really high during the burning season. And I am someone that cares about my health. My health is my number one priority. So places like Bangkok and Chiang Mai are a lot of the north of Thailand and even in the middle of Thailand, a little bit down south, the air quality is so, so bad. And the Thai government knows it's so bad, but they don't do anything about it to stop it due to what reasons, I don't know. Maybe they have some sort of vested interest in this and they make some money from it, I don't know. But that's something for another time that I don't need to go into detail at all in this video. So yeah, if you're someone that cares about health, you do not want to be 
in these parts of Thailand that I've mentioned in other parts of Thailand. So the best places to go are places like Krabi, Koh Phangan, Koh Samui, Phuket. And out of all the different places, sometimes I've moved to Phuket during this time and some other times to Koh Phangan. And personally, out of all the different places that I've been to during the burning season, Koh Phangan meets my needs more than anywhere else. And most people that I would say are conscious people in into a lot of things that I am into come here during this time. So there is so many different people that I know that are here at the moment that are my friends and other people that I haven't met before that watch my YouTube channel and follow my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, make sure that you check it out. There'll be a link down below for it. So I get to meet so many amazing people. The community here is so amazing. Every single night at around 6 p.m. There is an abundance of people on a specific beach known as Zen Beach and people doing a drumming circle. There's even someone playing a saxophone the other day and other instruments. So there's so many amazing people here. There's so many different events for ecstatic dance and rebirthing and other inner healing workshops and all different types of amazing conscious things going on here and it has some of the best air quality all year around and there's so much nature so it is one of the best places for me to be in Thailand where I love to live to give me the best health holistically within my mind and body and I also find here I just spend way much more time outside in nature which reduces my stress levels makes my sleep better I have more energy and I just feel way better mentally and emotionally overall. And it just feels so much more right for me to live here rather than being in a big busy city. At certain points I do like to live in a big busy city because in a big busy city compared to here there's access to a lot more things there, specifically things that you would want to buy. And there is a variety of different people there that I like to connect with as well in comparison to here. But out of all the places that I've ever lived in Thailand, it's the best place for me to be. And like I said, number one reason why I'm here is due to the burning season going on. And I'm going to stay here for a minimum of at least two months, maybe three months. Last time I was meant to stay for around three months. I ended up staying around seven months, if I remember correctly, because I loved it so much. And it just feels so good to be back. As soon as I come here, I just feel way calmer and more relaxed. And I just feel better all around. It just feels so right. And when I feel into my heart, my heart just loves me being here and my body. It just feels so right to me inwardly and outwardly to be here. So it makes complete sense for me to be here. Nox never been here before, so it's a whole new experience for her. And we see how she likes it. She's liking it so far. And she's getting to discover a lot of different things that she hasn't before. But yeah, we are really looking forward to getting a house, which we're going to be finding soon because it is the peak season at the moment. So it's really hard to find a specific type of house that we're looking for, but quite possibly we have found one today that we could move into tomorrow, but we need to go and check it out and make sure it's exactly what we are looking for. So I hope this has given you an insight into why I'm here and also maybe made you aware of why you wouldn't want to be in specific parts of Thailand for the reasons that I've explained. Because I've had quite a few people contact me over the years that tell me that they go into places like Chiang Mai or Bangkok during the burning season, they don't know about it, I make them aware of it, and they either go and really don't like it and they work out that it's not good because not everyone necessarily is gonna believe me until they go there. Or they change their plans completely and go to another place like Koh Phangan, Thailand where they can escape the smoke. And when I look up at the air now, you can see no burning smoke whatsoever. It's really, really nice sky. And the air quality just feels amazing. As soon as we arrived here, I could just feel the air is so clean that I am currently breathing in, which is just a really good sign to me. It's a really optimal human, well, an optimal environment for humans to thrive and feel the best that they can feel because so many people live in big busy built up cities where there is hardly any trees or natural environment whatsoever and so many vehicles just spreading pollution everywhere and then you're just being bombarded by EMFs and wireless devices and it's just it's just a very very intense place to be in many different ways and not the healthiest place to be so if someone wants to have the best health possible we need to have the best of everything the best healthiest diet possible that is a natural whole foods diet whether that's plant-based or not we need the best cleanest 
drinking water, air quality, we need to be doing things that we love to do every single day, reducing our stress levels, going to bed early, having optimal sleep, exercising, and doing breathing practices and mindfulness practices and things like even yoga and so on. If we wanna live the best human experience where we just feel the best every single day so we can live life to the fullest and achieve more of what we want to achieve in this amazing human world and just feel the best while we are doing it as well because if you're not feeling the best that you can feel then you're not going to have the greatest hormone production and energy levels to achieve as much as you want to do and do as much as you want to in this world so you can live life to the full and know that when you leave this human experience that you did live life as much as you possibly can and you didn't just go to your deathbed in a job that you didn't like to do surrounded by people that you didn't want to be around eating a diet that made you feel crap and having so many health issues and shortening your lifespan and not being able to live the fullest life because you've had so many health issues and low energy levels that stop you from doing all of that. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down and please share this video with anyone else that you think would love to hear about why I have moved from Pai, Thailand to here in Koh Phangan, Thailand. And if you want to receive more videos from me on a regular basis, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.